Let's go back in time and check out the Swift BMX electric bike next on E Rock Rods. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's E Rock Rods, and we're out here doing the first impressions on the Swift BMX. Swift E BMX. So I do feel a little ridiculous riding a BMX bike with a motorcycle helmet, but I needed the chin mount to record this video. So that's why I'm wearing a motorcycle helmet. Normally, I would not be wearing a motorcycle helmet with this e-bike because this e-bike only maxes out at 20 miles per hour. So we're gonna try that out right now. Let's start off with some throttle test. I'm cranking the throttle. I should have the GPS out, but I don't have the phone mount on this bike. It's going about 18. It has three levels of pedal assist. Pedal assist one will get you about 10, 11 miles per hour, I believe. If I go to pedal assist two, about 13, 13 and a half. And then I'm on pedal assist three, but I'm ghost pedaling at this point. And it gets to like 17. I don't want to pedal any faster than that. It doesn't feel any resistance at all. All right, so let's just ride around on this bike for a little bit just to get a feel. This bike is definitely not for everyone. It's not a fast e-bike, but it's something else. It's something special. Well, at least special to me. It has this sort of uh, nostalgic feeling riding this bike. It's a BMX bike. Form factor of a BMX. It's not super fast, but it's light. It's under 40 pounds. I believe it has a 350 watt motor and a small seven amp hour battery, seven something amp hour battery. So it's not a fast bike. It's not a bike that's gonna have long range, but it's a, it's a fun bike to cruise around on, just to have fun on. And for me, it's one of my needs. I recently started riding bikes with my son who just got his first e-bike and this is a perfect bike to just cruise along with him and it brings back that fun nostalgia of me being a teenager riding BMX bikes but now I don't have to pedal everywhere because I have the throttle so I could just throttle around the, the bike trails You guys might be thinking, why did I buy a slow e-bike? It fits a different purpose. And uh, especially with its price tag and the price that I got it for. So retail, this bike, the Swift eBMX costs $1,000 or $999. But I found it on sale at Best Buy for $650. $649.99. And it was pretty much a impulse buy for me. You know, with the, the joy that this little thing gives me, it's it's definitely worth $650 to me. It's just something fun to rip around on. You know, just have fun. So it definitely fit, has its purpose. It only comes with one brake, the back brake, and it's a mechanical disc brake. So it's a, it's a single speed single speed BMX so if you do run out of battery it's pretty easy to ride without without battery it's lightweight I probably wouldn't use this as a commuter but it's still it's fun for what it is definitely fun for what it is you could bunny hop off curbs just get your inner teenager to come out and have fun on this thing I mean they have the zoos e-bikes out there but those are like legit e-bikes they go 25 30 miles an hour depending on the model 30 plus but this one keeps it real close to the bmx style form factor 
the Zeus bikes are bigger from mine. I haven't ridden a Zeus bike personally myself, but they seem like they'd be bigger than this 20 inch tire BMX. But yeah, this this thing is just, it's nothing crazy, but it's just fun. It's, it's fun to ride around on. For 650 bucks, I'm having a blast. Definitely getting my money's worth for on this bike. It's zippy. 350 watt motor is not gonna get you up that fast. Like I said, it's rated for 20 miles per hour. It says 19.6 miles per hour on the website, but it looks like I'm getting just a little bit shy of that. So I guess it depends on the rider's weight as well. It is a little chilly out. Oh, something else that I like about it is that it's literally super stealthy. The battery is in the, in the down tube, in the frame. So there's nothing sticking out besides the wires. The wires for the the throttle, the brake, and uh, oh, it does come with a headlight, so that's kind of cool. I'll show you the headlight. If I paid full price, $9.99, I don't know if it would be worth it, but at the price that I picked it up at, I would definitely recommend it for this price. But yeah, let's pull over somewhere so we can take a look at the bike. Three hundred fifty watt motor, single speed. It does come with uh, some pegs, though. Two sets of pegs for the front and for the back. It has a front headlight. Let's turn that on. And it does get pretty bright at night. I know that when you're on BMX, you really don't have to have a comfortable seat, but the seat that came with it was rock hard. I had to switch it out for this one that had a little bit of cushion on it, just because I sit down when I ride it. I'm not one of those youngins always standing up while riding. I feel like this bike would be great for like a teenager. If I was uh, a teenager, I would love to have this bike just to mess around with. You're not gonna go too far with it with a small seven amp hour battery, but it's good for what it is. You know, besides like these wires up here, it's very incognito. Like you wouldn't be able to tell that it's, uh, it's electric. The battery's right in here, but yeah. It's a fun little bike. Definitely give this thing a try out if you're interested. All right, let's ride back home. If you guys um, want to know more th more about this bike or want me to do any follow-up videos on anything, just let me know. Like I said, it's not that fast, but it's fun. It's a little zippy bike. This motor is very quiet. Very, very quiet ride. Yes, yeah, going 15 miles per hour up this slight, slight hill, so. The 350 watt motor, you could tell it's not great. If, you, if I pedaled, it would help getting up the hills a little bit more, but you could tell that the small motor does struggle with the different inclines. All right, so I'm gonna go full throttle down this street and let's see. Okay, full throttle. Let's get up there. It's probably not gonna hit it with uh, without a full battery. But yeah, it looks like I'm just hitting like 18.5 full throttle. Or that's been my top. I haven't hit the 19.6 that it's rated for. All right, guys. Thanks for coming on the ride with us. If you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing. Hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. And we will catch you on the next ride. All right, guys. Right on.